Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. I was watching the news last night. We have a bunch of snow coming our way. Got me to thinking, we did an episode on snowblowers a few years back I want you to see. Now for you home gamers, this isn't your snowblower. It's not the one my brother's always chirping me about with the belt drive and all these other cool amenities. This is a rotary snowblower on the front of a locomotive, powered by steam, still in use today. So stay tuned and watch the rotary snowblower. Well, to me, I think this is an impressive piece of machinery. This is a very large piece of steel that has a lot of power. But I found another one that is very impressive. I would like to introduce you to the steam-powered rotary snow plow. Never seen this thing before. It is enormous. And they're a very important part of uh, locomotive and rail history. Now, the steam-powered rotary snow plow was invented by a dentist in Toronto, Canada in 1869, and around 1887, rail became popular by uh, Union Pacific Railroad. Now, these things varied in sizes and shape, massive, used uh, steam uh, piston uh, driven engines to throw snow upwards of 100 feet, and the engine, uh, you know, the output ranged from like 1,500 to 3,000 horsepower. Massive, you know, uh, 11 and 12 foot uh, blade uh, heights, and really, really, really powerful. Now, like most steam-powered uh, things around the 1950s when diesel engines really became uh, proficient and efficient, these things fell by the wayside. But if you're watching this video that we're showing you here, there's still steam-powered rotary snow plows uh, in action all throughout the world and all throughout Europe. Anywhere there's a lot of snow, you're gonna find these rotary snow plows. But when you see them now, they're not blowing plumes of steam. Just remember, that's where it all started. So I had to do this for you because this video and these pictures are cool. These things are massive. I feel like I've seen them somewhere, like in a movie or something. So maybe you can go Google that and find out. And while you're out there, go see what I got for you. We got content each and every week. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go get back to work and find something for you next week.